We are going to be discussing power to a power when dealing with exponents. When dealing with a power raised to a power, you simply multiply the exponents. Power to a power, multiply the exponents. I'm going to show you why. If, if you look at this example, we have 3 cubed to the 4th power. This means that we have 3 cubed 4 times. And so that's 3 to the 3rd times 3 to the 3rd times 3 to the 3rd times 3 to the 3rd. Each one of these means that you have 3 multiplied 3 times which is why we have 3 times 3 times 3 here, followed by another set of 3 times 3 times 3, another set of 3 times 3 times 3, followed by another set of 3 times 3 times 3. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 to the third, 4 times. When we add the number of times we multiply it by 3, we will get a total of 12. So if it's a power to a power, you multiply the exponents. Let's look at another one when we do not have a base that is a numerical value. In this problem, we have x to the fourth squared. We have x to the fourth twice. So we write it as x to the fourth times x to the fourth. For the first one, we have x times x times x times x. And for the second one, we have x times x times x times x. We have x to the fourth twice. When we count how many times x has been multiplied by itself, we get a total of 8. Therefore, x to the fourth squared is x to the eighth. When we go back for a power to a power, you multiply the exponents. In the example on the screen now, we have x squared to the fourth, which means we have x squared four times. And if you have x squared four times, you have a total of eight x's. Therefore, the answer is x to the eighth. In the second example, it is two cubed squared, which means that two to the third power occurred twice. 2 to the third times 2 to the third is equal to 2 to the sixth power and a power. This goes back to the original rule that we studied first where if you are multiplying and they have the same base you add the exponents. When we expand it you're able to add the exponents when you look at the problem and it's just a power to a power, you are able to take a shortcut and multiply the exponents. This has been an explanation of how to solve problems when it involves a power to a power. Power to a power multiply the exponents, the exponents, the exponents, the exponents. Power to a power multiply the exponents, the exponents, the exponents. Power to a power multiply the exponents, the exponents, the exponents. Power to about multiply the exponents, the exponents, the exponents, the exponents. Power to about multiply the exponents, the exponents, the exponents. Power to about multiply the exponents, the exponents, the exponents. Power to about multiply the exponents, the exponents, the exponents. Power to about multiply the exponents, the exponents, the exponents.